In this video, I just wanted to give a quick walkthrough of my new free Witch Pig plugin, Black Mirror Reverb. So I've already done a presets video which shows five different sounds with three guitar, um, one keyboards, one drums. Um, but I want to show off a couple of different sounds, some other things you can do with it, and um, maybe give some ideas of how you can do it and just go through the controls as well. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, um, if you click on the Witch Pig logo here, this will open up the Witch Pig website. So on here, there's a whole load of um, different uh, plugins. They're all in VST3 and AU, so they're for PC and Mac. And you've got contact instruments as well, um, some utilities, synths. Um, there's also, um, as well as all these, there's also um, a load of presets and stuff as well for different things, for Axe FX, for sound toys, etc. And there's also a help page. So if you go to the help page, um, this can be quite useful. Um, it can be a bit of a pain for Macs because basically I haven't paid them. I don't want to have to keep paying them a license a year for them to authorize the plugins automatically. So you basically just have to follow the steps, which it says on the videos, if you don't know how to do it. And that would tell you how you can do that, not just for mine, but for anybody's plugins, um, if you want to use um, free plugins on Macs. So, okay, going back to here then, you've got the logo there, BPM, um, that will sync to whatever the BPM is your door. So you'll see the actual animation will speed up or slow down depending on that, as well as the actual, um, the amount of echoes within the reverb and, and the delays will all sync in with the BPM. Um, we've got some presets on there. Um, you can go forward or backwards on those. Click on bypass. If you want to see what it sounds like without and back on. And there's also a help page. If you click on the question marks. So this will give you a bit of a description of the controls and it will um, give you some ideas on how to use it. One thing I should mention is with, I noticed with when I used animations on plugins before, they didn't seem to work for people who are using Ableton because I don't think it will actually allow them. And there's also some versions of Logic, but other versions, combinations of Logic and different OSs, it seems to be fine. So if that happens, what, what I've done is I've done it so it will just go grey in the background. So it might look like it's not working, but all the, um, the actual sound part will still work. You just won't see the animation in the background. Right. So. Going through these, the bits which make up the reverb of the divide, reflect, and shudder. So divide and reflect, reflect basically the number of echoes and the spaces between them. So if you have a really low amount, so it's going to be more like a delay, but if you have lots of little echoes all close together, and then you turn up shudder, which is basically feedback, then that will create like a reverb effect. Um, in this example here, I've got quite high distortion on this, so it's obviously using distortion on this. I haven't got much reverb because I've got to divide and reflect down low, but I've got a shutter up high, which is the feedback. So what that will do is create more of a modulation effect. If you've got the feedback up high, it'll be quite a metallic sound, which is what this will be on this example I'm going to show you, which is what a uh, sound I didn't show in just the presets demo. So in the other controls, you've got crush. It's a bit crusher. So this is crushing about half of it. If it's right the way down, it's on normal amount, 24 bit. If you turn it up to um, four, then you're getting into sort of freak show industry sort of levels of audio destruction where it'll just start juddering completely. And unless you particularly want that effect of actually destroying the audio, you're probably not going to use that much, but you can do. Um, magnify basically turns it up, but if you turn it up too loud, it's just going to distort in an unpleasant way and be too much. But what you, if you then turn this up louder and then you turn your input down lower, then this creates quite different sounds. So by adjusting your own input level into the plugin in relation to the magnify here, you can get quite surprisingly big variations in tone. So, okay, what I'm going to do just for a quick example on this to start with, I'm just going to play a bit of clean guitar and then I'll show you with this Black Sunshine set, which I didn't use in the presets one, which gives a very metallic sort of sound to it. It's quite an acquired taste. You might not like it at all, but it's just showing another thing you can do with it. Okay, so I'll bypass this and then just play a bit of clean guitar. <laughs>
Okay, so I'll put it back on, and then you can see what it's doing to it. Okay, so that's quite sort of an acquired taste, I think. Um, but it's something a little bit different, something else you can do with it, I just thought was worth showing. So what you can also do is I'm going to show you using it on um, some drums. It's just an easy drum. I'm just going to play. I've got a setting here I'm going to use on it. Put it under bypass on here. So this is a real crushing one. So it's crushing the sound on it. It's also got some distortion, a judder on this. So it'll bit of reverb, a bit of distortion, so it changes quite dramatically from the original sound. So I'll play you a bit without it, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll adjust the controls while it's going so you see what it's doing. Okay, so you can see some of the things you can play about with it. You're probably going to use, want to use less extreme settings most of the time. Um, another thing you might want to consider doing is using it um, in parallel. So I have got um, on my YouTube channel, I've got a number of Reaper videos and I've got a, a video where I show how to use parallel distortion using um, my Siberian hamster plugin. So if you check out that video, that will give you some ideas of how you can use it in parallel distortion. So that, if you do that, what it means is you still retain the original clarity of the drums, but then you get the extra punch from the distortion and the crushing. So I expect a lot of you have heard people will try it out parallel compression, but parallel distortion is nothing like as common, but it can be as surprisingly effective. So if you're interested, it might be worth checking out um, that video. So another thing you can do, I was going to put this back to the original Def Crush preset is you can automate automate all these controls on here so hang on let's turn it off on here okay still going so as you can automate all these controls so if you click on in reaper it'll be it's trim and then you can select the different distort divide and then you can automate it so you can see like the green line on that you can set in the automation or you can record on the automation and just move the controls about as you're doing so this can be um, surprisingly effective so what i'm going to do just for an example is i'm just going to manually automate the shutter and then you can see get some ideas of how you could use this on a, a percussion track which can be quite effective so Okay, so that's quite an extreme example, but hopefully I can give you some ideas of things you can do. You could obviously automate um, other controls as well.
Yes, if you turn that up full, you'll just get full on juddering, shuddering on the other ones and do it. But you can automate that. You could also automate the distortion. You can aut automate all the controls and automate the crush. It can be quite effective. Um, so, um, yeah, hopefully that's given you some ideas of things to do. Um, you're not quite sure we're going through. This will give you a bit of a um, description on it on the help files. Also, if you go to um, website on here you've got help files if you have any problems check out some of the videos some useful videos on there it links to um all the plugins there's also tutorials on the witch pig website which shows some other fans in fact it's probably got a tutorial just on here which links to the um the one i was telling talking to you about for the um for doing the siberian here you go this one here siberian hamster automating parallel distortion so if you're interested in having a go at that and experimenting with some different sounds um have a go at that so yeah hopefully um it all loads up properly you have some fun with it and you maybe find some interesting sounds that you might actually use okay cheers for watching bye